on guys, it's Vid, and today I'm going to be introducing you to my geek shelf, my nerd shelf, whatever you want to call it. It's a shelf where I have a bunch of cool stuff that I've just collected over the years and stuff that you guys have sent me. This was also requested because I did a setup video for my gaming setup, which you can check out at the end of the video or in the description down below if you want to see what I game on and what I use for gaming and what I use for streaming and all that. But as for today, we're going to be talking about the geek shelf and some of the cool toys and little trinkets that I have on the geek shelf. All right, so first we're going to start on the bottom right side of my shelf. As you can see, some of this is recognizable if you've been around for a little bit because some of it is fan mail. Over here, I honestly just have stickers from companies and things that I've, that I've used or that I've been with before, like G Fuel, and then I got some stuff from other companies that I've used before. So that's honestly all this little side compartment is here. But as you can see right here, this is actually a Dr. Pepper container that also acts as a vault, so you can put like coins and stuff in it. I have all my bracelets here from Electric Family. Then we have this cool little guy who's actually a little frog that makes noise. I got this when I was in Wisconsin visiting Emily. He's actually really cool and he sounds like a frog. This was from Rocco Taco. This is a cool Assassin's Creed figure that I, it's actually a pin. I got in fan mail very recently. If you guys remember that episode, then you're the real OGs. Only the real ones will remember this. This is Fushigi. Fushi is pretty much a trick globe that you can just, you just kind of mess around with and you can make it look like it's a floating orb because of its reflectiveness and it's really cool. It's actually not moving at all. I'm just moving it in my hand, but it looks like it's moving. A little despicable me minion here. Obviously it was recently Christmas and I got these cool. These are like little mints and lemon mints and stuff in here. Those are pretty cool. Back here I got my wireless headphones, which I normally grab when I'm on the go. Got some SD cards here, a little phone stand or a little phone holder for my tripod. These are monkey balls. They're pretty much uh, really magnetic balls that you can play with. You can put them on this little sheet here and they're really awesome. Uh, fun fact, you can't buy them in stores anymore because young children were actually um, digesting them and they were uh, causing problems in their intestines, so they were banned from retail, but you can still buy them online from Amazon. Obviously, we got those G Fuel Collective pins. I love these. My favorite one has gotta be this one. The Twisted Candy one is amazing. I do like the Cotton Candy one. That was the first one they ever made in terms of pins, but the Twisted Candy one is by far my favorite. It looks so awesome. Next to it, I got. I also got these for Christmas from my parents. Uh, these are both the same thing. This one, it says Vicky 420 as well. They're collectible Coca-Cola uh, bottles, but this one has a little, little sweatshirt on them and I think it's adorable. Over here we got some more fan mail, some fan mail Vicky 428 uh, printed out, 3D printed little plate. I love this thing. I actually made this myself in Woodshop a long time ago, so this is pretty cool. Sparky, you guys all know Sparky. Uh, Sparky actually is an amazing craftsman. He actually made this himself fully engraved for my birthday a couple years ago on April 28th. These are fidget spinners, but they are from Overwatch. They're really sick. I honestly think the old fashioned GoPros look cool, so I just kind of leave it up here. I think it's awesome. Zing, I haven't forgotten about your kazoo, so my kazoo's from fan mail just sit up here. This is an automaton, which is probably one of the most expensive pieces of garbage I've ever bought. As you can see creep in the back, I got a creeper. This is actually from fan mail as well. This is actually 30 days to a more powerful vocabulary. It's just a bunch of really like big words you can use. I had gotten it back in high school and I just, I just keep it here cause it's kind of cool. And behind here, I know you guys are probably eyeing this, but this is actually wooden engraved uh, banner of mine that I did myself. I just like it, I love it, so I keep it right here and it gives me motivation every single time I look at it. I had the same thing with Monster Cat right back here. A ball launcher, pretty much you just squeeze his stomach and he just like pops that out of his mouth and it shoots off like a, like a beam. If it hits you in the eye, it's like the most painful thing in the world, so. This is a really cool paperweight that I thought was awesome because it's just like really, really, really well made, so I kept it. Now this is really cool, this is really awesome. These are Call of Duty Black Ops 3 collectible coasters that I had actually gotten on the launch day with the Juggernaut edition of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which I had received for the PlayStation 4 at the time. Just to quickly show them to you, this is what they look like, and they're amazing, and I love them, and they're just beautiful. Obviously, this is a Marshmallow plush. If you don't know who Marshmallow is, you should definitely check out some of his music. He is actually the best. But yeah, it's just a little cute little plushie. That's all it is. It's literally just a plushie. And up here, it hasn't changed. It's actually been two years since I made this video, and I never took these down because, honestly, Minecraft is amazing, and I love these. So there's a pickaxe, skeleton, a Steve in diamond armor, and another pickaxe. I just think they're awesome, and I just, I actually just love them being there. And back there, you can see the old-fashioned Vicky 428 logo that I used to have. This used to be my logo a long time ago, just that that and uh, I had made it I had printed this entire thing out in art class back in like 10th grade and I just keep it there because again it's just a reminder of myself from the past and I love looking at that stuff and reminding myself where I came from 
Over here, I have a little heart keychain that has a Wisconsin map on it and then a little heart. And that's because Emily lives in Wisconsin and she's the love of my life and I love her so much. And I just, uh, I love this little thing. I got this like on my first visit there and I've had it ever since and I leave it here just to remind myself of her. Okay, on to stage two. So up here I got a Walking Dead keychain. Behind it I have a, I have a few old Pokemon cards that I just have collecting back there. This is a Japanese candy box and this and this is a Japanese candy box. Both of these little dice are. Why do I still have them? I think they are adorable and they just are, they're super cute and they had car caramel in them at one point in time. I was a little, a little Pikachu. The Smurfs, this is from my mother's childhood that she actually gave to me and I just, I always have this here because I think it's really neat. In front here I have a Legend of Zelda figure. This is a, actually adorable. I had gotten this from a 25 cent machine and it's just there. I just think it's really cool and really neat. Over here we got an awesome little mushroom, little mini mushroom because, I mean, who does doesn't love Mushroom from Minecraft. I got a Gumby over here because Gumby, I mean, come on, what else do I have to say? It's Gumby. And over here we have some VidKid 428 little 3D printed models that were actually printed out by a viewer of mine. Back here I have a limited edition Joker pop figure that I actually got from Loot Crate. Uh, I had gotten this for a Christmas gift from one of my friends and it's just really cool and I love it because it's so unique and, and rare. I got a Chewbacca of pop figure and I got an R2-D2 pop figure. Shout out to Sparky, you know why. Over here we got a Creeper figurine with a little diamond block in there that I actually won from an arcade a long time ago. On top of the shelf up here I have a Walking Dead figurine which is actually a paperweight it does light up if there was batteries in it, but I take all the batteries out of the stuff I don't use because I don't want to have anything corrode and things go bad when there's a lot of batteries in it and you know, you, you don't do anything with it so it just kind of corrodes and ruins the uh, collectible. Behind it, I do have a Lego Minecraft set, but I really, <laughs> I kind of destroyed it a long time ago, but I just like the box because it's there, it's Lego Minecraft. I'm sure you guys knew this about me already, but I am a huge Crash Bandicoot fan, and when Crash Bandicoot Remastered came out, I had gotten this keychain with my pre-order. I absolutely love this thing, so I just have it on my shelf just to remind me how much I love the game. Some really, really old cards from really long time ago. They're the Simpsons cards, and they're cool. I got them at a flea market a long time ago, but these are from the 90s. Oh, if we're gonna have a creeper, we might as well have a diamond Minecraft Steve skin. More 3D printed stuff that you guys have sent me in fan mail. An Android iHome. A Baja Blast collectible bobblehead that I had actually gotten from playing Baja Blast, earning points on the app from buying Mountain Dew, and then cashing it in to get the points for the actual figurine. No, I'm not a Mets fan, and actually, I'm not even a fan of baseball in general. I really don't like sports much, but... This is a sports figurine that I had gotten back when I was really young, back in Shea Stadium before they redid the whole thing. To finish off this video, I have the container, the collectible container from G Fuel because I think it's cool looking and it's got really cool art on it. A cool little teddy bear that I've just had since I was little and I love it so I keep it up here because I'm a dork like that. I got the Cotton Candy Keemstar Flavor Collector Box and then on top of that I have Curtis and Curdette from Culver's because if you guys don't know this, I'm a huge fan of Culver's. It's pretty much a really good version of McDonald's. It's actually it's actually not even comparable to McDonald's because it's so much better and different and fresh, but this is just some, a place that I go to whenever I'm in Wisconsin or when I'm in the Midwest, and I love it. So I had gotten these collectible figurines that they were selling over the summer. And last but certainly not least, I have this MSI collectible keychain figure of the MSI Dragon that I had gotten with my old laptop. I have tons more items I could talk about, but this is pretty much everything that's on my shelf right now that I want to talk about. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smack the like button. Tell me what your favorite item was and tell me if you have any of them. Maybe you have the same stuff as me and that's really cool. As always, it doesn't cost anything to be kind. You are beautiful. I will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Ooh! Go wandering